We're here in Princeton catching an early rehearsal for Albert Herring, a comedic opera set to be a part of the Princeton Festival in June. For those who have never had the pleasure of visiting the opera before, this is a wonderful opportunity to enjoy the beautiful garden grounds of the Morven Museum and Garden at this outdoor presentation. Sung in English with English titles above the stage, Albert Herring is perfect family fun. Today I was lucky enough to speak with Maestro Rawson Milanoff, the music director for the Princeton Symphony Orchestra and the conductor for Albert Herring, as well as Louis Jacobson Waston of the Princeton Boy Choir, stepping into the role of Harry. You've worked with a number of orchestras, but can you tell me what you enjoy most about the Princeton Symphony Orchestra? I have been affiliated with the Princeton Symphony Orchestra for almost 13 years now. When I came to audition for the job of the music director here, I was surprised by not only the level of the musicians in the orchestra, but how open the audience was. So I, I found a very fertile artistic ground here to do a lot of interesting projects that probably would have not been possible anywhere else. What would you say to encourage attendance by those who've never experienced an opera before? I think this is the perfect risk-free, uh, completely enjoyable opportunity for people to come and join us in a beautiful garden setting in our festival outside pavilion and then enjoy opera. It's all about getting into this magical world. The story of Albert Herring is going to be told in an appropriately enough location. It's a comedy, it's very funny. It's sort of like a Gilbert and Sullivan uh, kind of a musical, but uh, you know, written by one of the greatest composers of the 20th century, Benjamin Britten in this case. And it's all in English, it's perfectly matched with the rhythm of, of the English language. We have not only adult opera singers, but there are three children singing parts that are quite significant. So yeah. there's singing for everyone in the family. Do you recall your first introduction to opera? First, I auditioned in Amal and the Night Visitors for the part of Amal in New York City. And then I had the opportunity to originate the role of William in the newly commissioned opera Frankenstein. Can you tell me a little bit about Harry? Harry is a young kid in the opera, I think about 12, and he is a bit mischievous. He sneaks into the shop and steals some apples, and he likes to make fun of Albert. What have you learned from Maestro Milanov? I've learned how to portray Harry as an interesting character, how to make the opera come alive, I think how to represent what he wants out of it. My flowers are few and tender my years, but these are for you who love to read this. You began your career as an alto soloist in the Bulgarian National Radio Children's Choir. Can you tell me how your journey evolved from a singer to a conductor? I started singing in this choir when I was eight years old. I had some training before that uh, playing the violin, but um, it just gave me this opportunity not only to sing, but this choir at the time traveled all over the world. I've been on five continents by the age of 12 and it just exposed me to different cultures, different languages. But most importantly, it taught me how important it is to, uh, to be part of a bigger group. So you learn how to work as part of a team. That was how I developed my relationship with music to begin with, through singing. Because of that, I wonder, do you find any similarities between yourself and young Lewis? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I would have died to play this role when I was his age. What do you think audiences will enjoy most about the show? It's really realistic. Like, you can relate to a lot of aspects of it, but it's also really whimsical. Do you have any advice to young singers, young soloists? who may want to follow in your footsteps. Well, I get to sing with the Princeton Boy Choir and I get to do different theater things. Doing these sorts of things early on is really important for building successful skills. And I think it's really valuable to have in someone's life. So I think if you're interested in it, definitely you should do it. Singing is, uh, is such a gift. It's your most direct connection to who you are, to your heart, to your feelings. 
And uh, if, you, if you want to do it, just like everything else, you just have to dedicate yourself very, very seriously to it. And to make sure that if this is your dream, that you pursue it until it becomes a reality. The Princeton Festival runs from June 10th through the 25th, with presentations of Albert Herring on June 17th and June 19th. For more information about the Princeton Festival and all things art in New Jersey, visit us at jerseyarts.com. I'm Gina Marie Rodriguez. Thank you for watching.